the report that we are presently getting is a very good one and it is that of uh, actor jerry williams getting better actor jerry williams have been involved in a lot of um, very serious and terrible things um the the most terrible of all is the substance abuse actor jerry williams according to the actors guild of nigeria who suspended him said that he got to a point where he was not interested in help and he would come on set he would come on set and begin to act crazy he became uncontrollable he became violent he became a shadow of himself and uh, this prompted a lot of people to get deeper into what is really going on and as you all know substance abuse is not an easy thing particularly if there is a spiritual connection to it i mean you could be doing something naturally as a person a bad habit of whatever it is that you picked from association or interest or whatever it is and um, some other people could just influence that thing and become something that you cannot control anymore um, let us say you you drink or you you smoke or there are some excesses or let us just say something that you engage yourself in you indulge indulgence you indulge yourself in certain things and it becomes excessive now, that excessiveness could be you having a weakness that you cannot control and it could become strong if someone now begins to manipulate you physically, I mean mentally, that's what I mean by the physical, and also spiritually. Now, the spiritual aspect of it can be as deadly as the, um, the, the, the mental um, part also. Someone can be manipulating you um, and that kind of thing. In the case of actor Jerry Williams, who heard from Ugezu J Ugezu who is a mentor who is a mentor and also we we'll call him a father in the industry to Mr Jerry Williams so um he, he has done a lot he has um, issued warning he has he's, in fact he said he was going to go deeper to the root of the cause of this because this is not ordinary um, this is a man who wants to be seen as a traditionalist and what do I mean by that he said he's not a Christian He's not a Muslim. He's not an atheist. He said he belongs to some other form of um, religion. And this religion um, is that of his ancestor, the worship of ancestors and um, deity and all of that. He said this is what he believes in. Now, 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 there is another person, an actress, who is also in a relationship um, with um, Jerry Williams. I'm talking about destiny, destiny ethical she has been also helpful and the report we are hearing is that uh, he's getting better you know when you have addiction problem and you're going through this it, it, it's like a small demon that takes over you and it could become big it takes over you it takes over your senses takes over just everything that you can imagine it takes over your 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 you just 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 think of it it takes over basically everything about you and uh, it takes a lot of effort for you to get out of it. It takes a lot of effort for you to get yourself pulled right. If you do not have family members, if you do not have friends, if you don't have confidence around you, you will be wallowing in that, you know, very mucky, uh, you know, situation. And you could stay in there forever. You might be staying in there forever. You might even end in that situation there are a lot of people go to the united states of america i mean generally go to the west the west when i mean i mean the countries where caucasians are more domicile often mistaken as white people yes go there and see substance abuse now this used to be the story of those days but now it has um, penetrated into africa and in africa they are beginning to have um, cases of substance abuse and many of these terrible things people are getting hooked up on it and the way this thing gets onto you gets takes hold of you it takes hold of you and begin to control you you'll be wondering what do i mean it's better you don't even know what it is i mean when it takes over you it's like if you don't have it you are not okay just imagine someone who is addicted to smoking when they don't smoke at times they cannot sleep they begin to have issues with themselves why because they are addicted to what they call nicotine most of these substances such as alcohol and uh, you know um, cigarettes and the higher form of it marijuana and when you go much more higher you begin to talk about some other form of abuse in different form what they do is they addict you there are, there is something in it that addicts you it takes your soul it takes you it takes everything 
It takes just whatever it is that you can think of. It takes all of your life, take all of your, 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 your life. In fact, there are people who have made a lot of money in their life, but this abuse brings them down. That's the truth of it. Now, there are also some people who might be quick to say, what about these rich people? They're able to manage their abuse. The thing is this, that wealth that they have that is still being maintained or it is still there helps them to keep the secret. There are things that you don't know. So, actor Jerry Williams from the report we heard has been, um, you know, attending rehabilitation. He has been attending, attending all the session that is required of him. He has been speaking to psychologists and uh, he has been speaking to those who are who have been, you know, trained to help people get out of this situation and say, good one. It is not just the spiritual aspect of it. There are also physical aspects of it that needs to be dealt with. After all, we are both physical and spiritual in nature. So, these are very, very, very important things uh, to, uh, to commend him for. At least, he's helping himself. He's trying to get out of it. There was a time that uh, actor Jerry Williams, is, uh, he became nobody. And you know how these things are. Once you have been targeted this way or once you have allowed yourself to be brought to this point in life it could you know it, it could finish you it can end you now just imagine they say no mister you are suspended and you don't have money you don't have nothing and there's nobody around you before you know it you just commit suicide and you just end it there because you look at yourself like there's no reason for you to be alive now this maybe could appear like a stigma to him or to other people depending on how he wants to see it or depending on how he wants them um, uh, or how he, he sees it with other people i mean the way he sees other people see him how he perceives himself and how he, he, he perceives other people perceiving him you know all of those things are also there but i wish and i hope that once it comes out of this strong he will open it could come up with some kind of program to help it could be a personal one it could be that with government that's one of the ways to fight this thing try to encourage other people you because you've gone through it there is a reason why you went through it now that you went through it, you survived it if you could come up with a program a program or something just come up with something to help other people who are addicted let them know that you also use that this is this is a starting point for you i'm telling jerry williams this is a starting point for you you're already into acting use that luminosity to to press further to encourage other people like look i was in this i was bewitched i got into it myself it is both two prong two arrows that fired itself at me but look at me here if i can do it you can do it too if i can do it you know that kind of thing it's not just him coming back again and coming on the gram coming on tiktok coming on facebook coming on youtube coming on all of that and acting uh, you know whatever it is that he does and begin to promote his movie like it has gone no this is wrong this is wrong these are one of those things that uh, we need to we need to begin to have that uh, we need to develop this thing within ourselves whatever you go through and you succeed and you we're able to pass through it do not allow it to die use this as an a tool of encouragement use it let other people learn from you let them see that they are not the only one in this world that is going through this let them be able to share their experiences and this is what i encourage uh, actor jerry williams so it's a good thing nurses are saying that jerry williams is getting better even though he's still there he's attending um you know the sessions and doing what it, it needs to do we cannot keep saying the juju william juju this juju that did this to jerry williams and all of that alone we need to start talking about the power of positivity the power to be able to override the power to be able to cross over the power to be able to be alive the power to be able to overcome it's also important i don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one like and share this video subscribe to this channel and if this is something that sounds good to you you know just tap on the thanks button to encourage us to do more see you in the next update <laughs>